Where, where are you going? Oh. Girl, you moonwalking or something, though? Hey, everybody. It's me, Bill. Who? Hold on. Hold on. What's my name, girl? What's my name? Okay. Hey, everyone. It's me, Belladonna. <laughs> and we are doing uh, the very first part to Sims 3 Pets. This is going to be my second Sims 3 LP that I've done on my channel, and I'm pretty excited for it. Um, you guys, I I did a poll on on Twitter about which um which Sims 3 LP would you what was okay which Sims 3 LP would you like to see on my channel as well as Generations and Pets kind of won by a long shot. <laughs> it was like Pets Late Night, I think. Um. Late night, uh, ambitions, I think, and um, something else, something else, I can't think of it. But um, pets was like winning, okay? Like, apparently, y'all love pets, so I'm doing pets. <laughs> um, oh, I was going to say something about I totally blanked, I totally blanked. Um, gosh, okay, I guess I was going to say I've really never played with uh, this expansion pack per se like I've I've had a dog or a cat or whatever in my household every once in a while but I've never really had a horse <laughs> I, I never I don't do horses because <laughs> I've never done the pets thing you know and when I first got Sims 3 pets like uh, don't laugh at me but uh the animals kind of scared me so I didn't play it that much yeah, I, I'm a scaredy cat, so things just scare me easily, you know? It's really not even the dogs or the cats that scared me. It was kind of the horses. Like, it was like I'll be playing, and all of a sudden the horse just shows up my, at my door, you know? It was really creepy to me at the time. But as a, tw as a nearly 21-year-old girl, I can say I think I can handle it now. I think I can handle it. You know, I'm not 15 anymore, you know? I'm not 14 anymore. I can handle it. I can handle it. I can handle it. You know, it's like when I see a horse in real life, it's like it's no big deal. You know, they're really cute. But for some reason, in a Sims game, it kind of creeped me out. But it's not going to creep me out this time. I promise. I promise. So, yeah. Um, this is pretty much like a brand new expansion pack, in my opinion, because I really never played pets before. So... I hope you're going to enjoy this journey with me because I know I'm going to mess something up because I've never played this before, basically. But, um, I guess I'll introduce my Sims. Um, this is Marina Lovelace. Uh, she's a young adult. This is not Marina. Okay. This is Marina Lovelace. <laughs> she's a young adult. She's a Virgo. Her favorites are song songwriter music, uh, fried peanut butter and banana sandwich, which sounds really good right now. Uh, and her favorite color is lilac. She's absent-minded, brave, excitable, vegetarian, and it's queer. It's queer. It's queer. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, I can't pronounce the word. It's, oh, my gosh. Equestrian. Equestrian. I hope that's right. Equestrian. Okay. It was like, it was playing in my head, but I can't just, I couldn't just say it. Equestrian, okay. So yeah, she's basically a horse gal, you know. Uh, and that's about it. <laughs> and this is her boyfriend, uh, Liam Prince. Uh, he's a young adult as well. Uh, his favorites are country music, because, you know, he's a country boy. Mm -hmm. His uh, favorite food is goopy Carabonera. I never know how to pronounce that either. I just call it Goopy. And his favorite color is black. This is him right here. That's Liam. Yep, yep. He's a slob, adventurous, heavy sleeper, smoozer, and a dog person. Oops, I thought he was an uh, animal lover. Oh, I guess we don't got a cat person. <laughs> he was supposed to be an animal lover, but I, I guess I totally blanked on that one. Oops, my bad. But whatever, he'll be loved, he'll be loved. That cat will be loved, okay? Anyway, um, Liam is, uh, the boyfriend to Marina. They honestly just started dating not too long ago. It was, I don't know, 
they've both been raised in Appaloosa Plains. You know, they were friends for, like, the longest, but, you know, they were the friends that everyone thought they were dating, but they really weren't dating. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, they were so close that everyone just assumed in school that they were dating, but they were never dating. And um, just recently, they decided to give their relationship a try to move into a little house together and... Because they, they both love animals, you know, they're both animal lovers, so they just decided why not, you know, rent a little ranch or whatever you want to call this and have three pets of our own and raise our little animal family together because we are animal freaks and we love it, you know, we just, we're just like that, you know. So yeah, um, that's pretty much The Sims, so I'll go on to The Animals. This is Mojo Jojo Lovelace. <laughs> yes, I named it Mojo Jojo because I didn't know what else to name it. <laughs> oh, him. I'm sorry. I gotta get used to that. It's not a it. It's a him. Yeah. Yeah, and this is a boy cat. I, I think most people always do girl cats, so I just decided to be a little bit different and do a, a boy cat. So, yeah. So this is Mojo Jojo. He's neat, skittish, and he's lazy. I just wanted a lazy fat cat, okay? He's not even really that fat. I should have made him a little fatter, but I just wanted a lazy fat cat. Like, I wanted it so bad. So, yeah, that's the Mojo Jojo. Oh, yeah, and he's an adult. Adult, yeah. So, yeah, that's he's pretty easy to introduce. And this is our little girl. Her name is Clementine Prince. Uh, she's quiet, a genius, and she is proud. Ooh, yes, yeah, she's cocky. She knows she's the ish, you know. She's so adorable. I love this dog. I love this dog. She's super duper cute. And yes, it's a girl. It's a girl. So yeah. Uh, no, I wasn't not trying to look at Liam, okay? So yeah, that's Clementine. And this is Buffy Lovelace. Oh, can't see her face, can you? All you see is her personalities. But, um... Yeah, this is Buffy. I decided to make it a pretty, make her a pretty horse because I like pretty horses. I actually saw a wild horse that kind of looked like this, and I was just like, oh gosh, that horse, so beautiful. I have to have it. That was like a long time ago, though. This is before I even became a YouTuber. So I was kind of inspired by that wild horse to create a horse that looks like this. So, um, yeah, this is Buffy. She's obedient, fast, and friendly. So, yeah, and she's an adult. All my dogs, I mean, all my pets are um, adults. So, yeah, it's pretty much the family. Um, I guess that's all pretty much to say. Oh, goodness, that scared me. So, um, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> uh, I, I did, um, oh, by the way, the house. I did kind of make over it a little bit, but not really. It was... I was so surprised about how ugly the house was when I, when I, uh, popped up on this, uh, on this lot. I was like, wow, this is really ugly. I have to do something and I have to do something fast because I can't live in a house that ugly. So I had to do a little renovations, you know, not very much because, you know, I don't have all the money in the world right now. I'm definitely going to like build a house or something for, for this family because, this house, I, I don't see myself living in this house that long. It's really not cute. It's not cute to me at all. But, I don't know. This is their bedroom. This is the bathroom. This is the kitchen. I'm pretty sure you know where everything is because I think everyone starts on this lot when they do pets. So, yeah. I just want to fit in and just do the same lot, okay? So, no, just kidding. This is a really great lot. I really like that ranch right here. I think that's perfect to raise a horse, you know? So, yeah, um, this is, you know, her, uh, Mojo Jojo's, uh, little pet bed, her, his scratching post. That's their little Clementine's and Mojo Jojo's, um, food things. I can't think of the word. <laughs> food things. Okay, um, that's their toys. Uh, there's a litter box, and this is Clementine's, uh, doghouse. I meant to paint it pink, but I forgot to do it. Let me paint it pink, like, real quick, because I think that'll be so cute. So cute. So, yeah, um, and over there with the gate, I mean, with the fences and everything, that's, um, that's, uh, 
I gotta get their names right, I swear. That's Buffy's, um, little hideout, you know. I, I'm gonna show you that in a few. I just wanna paint this pink. Ooh, that's so cute. That's so cute. So cute. Um... Hmm. I'm so picky with Bruce. Bruce. Okay, I don't want that brown. Maybe white. I want it white. So just put in F F F F F F F. Is there another F or something? F. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's that's Clementine's little hideout. It's super duper cute. Um, and that's about it. For the tour in the house is really small it's nothing special and this is um Buffy's little area <laughs> I don't know what to call it I don't really know if I did this right I hope I did let's try it out let's try it out we're gonna have Marina um you know get on Buffy a little bit first she's gonna you know just pet her a little bit and just show her some love and affection uh marina she's so cute isn't she cute or what i just love this sim oh my gosh and i've been wearing excuse i made this sim like a long time ago actually but i didn't have a reason to really use her but now i do you know now i do he's on this pets lp and i'm really excited so we're gonna have marina um just care for the horse for a little bit so we can uh, get on her. I don't know how to do it though. Is it mount? I don't know what mount means, but okay. Let's see it. Let's see if mount means to get on the horse. You see, you see, I don't do horses all that. Where are you going? Oh, girl, you moonwalking or something though? knows how to moonwalk that's so cute <laughs> she was moonwalking though like I love it she's like Michael Jackson she's doing all the moonwalk and stuff okay okay now can you please please can you please be still I don't know what mount means apparently that didn't that's not it buy a horse we just got one girl I don't want two horses. Okay. Not yet, at least. Reinforcement. What does she do? Oh, no. It means saddle. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's like, it's not like I've never watched the Pets LP. I, I've watched Pets LPs before. I watched uh, Live Simmer's Pets LP, like, years ago. But that was, again, years ago. I really don't remember even what happened. Okay, girl, get on a horse. I thought mount means get on a horse. Uh, yeah, I definitely gotta read this. But it was years ago, so I really don't remember what happened. <laughs> I don't remember at all, you know, because I haven't watched it in so long, you know? But, um, yeah, your sim has just begun riding a horse. Would you like to learn more about riding horses? Yes, I will. Because I don't know what I'm doing, man. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Riding a horse is a great new way to travel, but unlike unlike Sims, they cannot travel everywhere. Horses are not able to walk up or down stairs, obviously, use the elevators, obviously, or walk through doors. Thank goodness. <laughs> if a sim right if a sim riding a horse is commanded to go to a location that they cannot travel to, the horse will route to the furthest location they possibly can and the sims will dismount and continue towards the destination. When Sims are riding a horse, they are, there are certain interactions they can perform without the need to dismount. Interactions with the horse or Sim icon in in the interaction menu denotes th that Sims will stay mounted and perform that interaction. Any interaction that does not have the horse or Sim icon will be pushed will push the Sim to dismount the horse. That's obvious. I can't believe I just read that. Okay. Not all horses are willing to listen to their masters from the get-go. Girl, you Buffy better listen to me, though. Oh, ooh, she better listen to me. Okay, I'm just kidding. Horses who have the untrained trait will require a higher relationship. Okay, she's not untrained, so that's that's not... 
that's not um a problem. I I made sure to not press that untrained trait. Cause I, why would I make it harder for me? Okay, so um, I really want to have her practice on this because I know you get money if she gets in these competitions and stuff. I know that much. I just don't re really remember how to do do all of this. So. Yeah, she's gonna have her get her writing skill up. I think that's what the skill is called. And yeah. And she's doing it, so that's cool. Do I have to keep pressing it, or does she just keep doing it, though? I don't know. Oh, Buffy. I love that name. You know where I got that name from. Come on, it's pretty obvious. Because <laughs> I love Vamp uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I haven't watched it in a while, though. But I love that show. Love it, love it, love it. I used to watch it on Netflix, like, all the time. All the time. But I think the reason why I stopped watching it is because I started watching um, Beverly Hills 90210. And I don't really do the whole binging watching shows at the same time very well. So I kind of paused Buffy and started watching 90210. And I really don't regret it. So, because uh, I love that show. But um, what did you break? What happened? Uh, and where's my cat? I don't know what happened, you guys, but whatever. Where's my cat? Are you literally under the couch? Okay, she's hiding. Oh, he's hiding under the couch. I don't know why. Um, whatever, though. <laughs> okay, so we got some neighbors to show up in the town. I really don't know who these people are. So... Cheyenne Fox is here. Let's give her an introduction. Oh, she's kind of cute. I don't like her hair, but she's kind of cute. That's the only neighbor we got? Okay, okay. He seems kind of cray. Who is he? Mark, what? Oh, Marcus Beckett. Okay. He's going to give him an introduction as well. Because we got to have friends. We got to have friends. Look at these two, though. I want them to talk. What are you doing? No, don't do that. Talk to um, Mojo Jojo. Um, socialize. I don't think cats and dogs can have babies together, can they? No? Okay. I don't think they can. That's kind of weird if they could. We got to find some um, some other dogs. And other cats to have to uh, around town, so we can have some puppies. I think that would be super duper cute. Or maybe even find another horse. You know, then we can have a. I don't know what you call a baby horse. I totally forgot what you call a baby horse. But yeah, see, I don't play pets. Like I don't play pets like this, you guys. So this is totally new for me. Totally new. So I'm um, gonna have them interact for a little bit. Let's see. How Marina and everyone is, <laughs> and Buffy is doing. With her, her writing skill is going really up really fast. I'm really pleased. So yeah, that's that's great. Uh, I put some little training posts here, but she's got to improve her writing skill before she does that. Um, Let's see. I put some hay over here. I don't know if she's supposed to eat it or what, but... <laughs> You know, I'll let, I'll let Buffy figure that out. <laughs> so, um, this is her little foodie thing, and that's her bathy thing, and this is a salt lick thing. I don't know what she'd do with it, but whatever. <laughs> whatever, I just bought the stuff, because I know, I know that they're going to need, I know that Buffy's going to need it eventually. Oh, she's saddle sore. Spending a lot of time on the back of a horse tends to leave quite an impression on one's backside. Ouch. Ooh, never got that movement before. So this is, yeah, this is totally new for me. And I guess she has a writing skill. Marina has decided to see the life for, from the back of a horse. It takes more than a rear end to sit, to sit in the saddle. But after a little riding time with a patient four-legged uh, partner, Marina will soon be blazing trails, leaping... Leaping gates and training horses like a pro. So yeah, she's got the writing skill and that's pretty great. 
So Buffy has just improved her jumping skill to level two, and yeah. Uh, I guess <laughs> we gotta learn. We gotta learn. It's like I really never had a horse. Horses are fine creatures, but need a lot of care. Before your new horse arrives, make sure you have a box stall, a water trough. I don't know how to pronounce that, and enough hay to survive. She has that. She has that. Your new pet may need some companionship. Make sure to spend. Make sure you spend a lot of time with your pet and socialize with them. Horses especially enjoy running and jumping. If you fail to take care of your new horse, the social worker will be back to, to pay, take your pet away. Basically, like a kid. <laughs> that cart, that truck, though. Oh, not the llama. Yeah, this is this isn't university, so we're not going to be doing that. Maybe one day, though. Maybe one day. Um. So Liam here, he's just reading a book. Um, just chilling. Um, what's wrong with you? Okay, so she's she's saddle sore, so we're just gonna stop and remove the saddle. I'm back in the saddle again. I'm back. Okay, y'all don't even know that song, but okay. I'm so naming this LP. What? Do they do that all the time when they get out that horse? <sighs> okay. I hope they don't. I thought she was like about to transport or something. Oh, she's so tired. She's like, duh, duh, duh. Okay. Um, so we're gonna unsaddle Buffy, whatever that means. I guess that means take that thing off of her or something. Unsaddle horse. We're not going to buy a horse. We already have a horse. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna read a book about riding. I'm gonna have her go to the bookstore and get a book. Um, so she's unsaddled, so. Buffy should be happy. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm going to have her go to the bookstore. Let's see where the bookstore is, though. I wonder, can we put Buffy in a competition yet? Um, not yet, I suppose. Not yet. No, not yet. Oh, no competitions are happening right now. That's That's okay. We're definitely gonna attend a writing class sooner or later because we gotta get her writing skill level up. So yeah, but um, we're gonna go to the bookstore, uh, right here I think. Yeah, um, and shop for books. And let's see what Liam could be doing right now. Um, first of all, where are our pets? They're having such a good time. I want them to be like best friends. <laughs> you know, they're not going to be like, you know, dog chases the cat, even though that's what they're doing. Dog chases the cat. Buffy's like, what is going on? What is going on? <laughs> but yeah, I think they'll have a really good friendship. Oh, um, I didn't know they could gain traits. That's so cool. That is so cool, you guys. They can gain traits. I didn't know that. I guess I, I'm so ex inexperienced. But um, Clementine has gained the playful trait. She will, she will now want to have fun as often as possible and may not have a lot of, and may have a lot of fun doing so. That's so cool. I love it. I love it. Thanks. Um, thanks, Mojo Jojo. Um, and of course, if you don't know where I got Mojo Jojo from, then. You just, oh gosh, I, I feel for you. I feel your pain. But you know, you might be from, you know, Australia or the UK, so you probably don't know where I got it from. But I got it from the Powerpuff Girls. It's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool cartoon, okay? I know I can't talk. Please don't, 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 don't hurt me, okay? <laughs> okay, so, um, we're gonna find some writing skill books. Because I really want her to get her writing skill up so we can get in these competitions, so we can win some money, and so we can get that H out of this house. Because I hate it here. 
Um, so yeah, we got a writing skill book. Um, what else? Um, I guess we get that one. You know, it's kind of expensive, but yeah. And I guess that's about it. So yeah. Oh, what happened? We don't hate each other. Uh, what was that? <laughs> That was the weirdest glitch of all time. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. But, um, we're gonna have them, like, I guess talk a little bit. How is Bark at friendly, though? If a dog barks at me, then I'm like, oh, get away from me, though. But, um, I'm so happy that Clementine is playful. <laughs> She's such a lazy cat. I love it. I love it that she's so lazy. Please don't glitch anymore. That was really weird. Like, oh, that was so weird. Um, Buffy, I guess, is just... What is she doing? Dig around? I don't really care, girl. If you want to dig some holes, and dig some holes. What is that? Oh, a carrot. Are y'all trying to take her carrot? Oh. That's so cool. I didn't know they can do that. Just dig for carrots. <laughs> but, um... Where is Marina? Oh, she's coming. What was that? This game is glitching. I thought I saw something, like, just swoop by me. But, yeah, um... Oh, Marina. Wait! What happened to our couch? Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? I know that it was you, Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. Why did you scratch my couch? <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, Someone scratched our couch. It didn't just come up like that. Who did it? Was it Clementine? I don't know. I don't know. But our couch is messed up. So we gotta replace it. I'm, I'm like so sure that it was Mojo Jojo. I guess we can't uh, reinforce it because she did that such a while ago and I just didn't know. I guess that's where that sound came from earlier. That do 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 it was from our couch. I thought it was some kind of electronic or something, but no, it was our our lazy cat. But you know what? I am going to end this part right here. I know that it was kind of a weird part for me to just get used to things. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if you want to see more pets. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.